What's up guys, and today they dropped the 99 overall pro size, whatever the fucker's name is, um, free card, and we're gonna be opening some elite packs, um, but, quick, let's compare them to, uh, 99 garlic, better speed, better acceleration, worse everything else, uh, look at him, compared to Armand Green, he beats him in everything but ball carrier vision, trucking. His trucking ain't too good, but he got 95 juke, 95 elusiveness, 90 carrying. He's a good guy, plus he's a really good backup, especially with that playmaker. On um, those little delay routes when the uh, guy runs back and the, the halfback runs back and goes on the call, and then you can playmaker him. So he, him with playmaker ability, if he was auctionable, he would be going for a lot. But just the playmaker ability makes him deadly as a backup halfback. Even as a starting halfback, but mostly as a backup halfback. Um, also, if you guys want to see an all-spotlight squad when the defensive spotlight players come out, let me know. But we will go over all the offensive players that came out today as soon as I pull in this pack. And then we might pull a few more packs. Um, but yeah. Defensive ones are starting to come out on July 12th, and then they'll come out once every um, week, like these did. And there'll be one non-auctionable 99 overall. Uh, let's just open this one up quick. Hopefully, we can get a new one. 99 overall, new one. Oh, let's go! 97 overall, new one. Okay, let's go over all these playoffs. Um, you guys see what all of them are? Uh, I think there's a tight end, there's a wide receiver, 99 overall, and there's a center. Um, 95, and by now. Okay, so first off, the new cards are Paul Parkins, 95 overall. Uh, no, do not want to bet on him. Don't give a shit about him. Uh, here's... See, that's, I don't like Team Kemp's. I understand, like, where they were coming from, but then, I, like, I don't like them. I think Team Kemp should definitely be a secondary chemistry. Always. Secondary chemistry. Like, right now, he should have New York Giants time, too, plus, I don't, I don't fucking know. But, I mean, he does have Battle Yeti, which does help, but whatever. Um... The 96 overall new card is going to be, wow, okay, a left guard, Thunley, wow, and freaking Goff is like worth nothing anymore. These fan appreciation packs, they ruin the market absolutely totally, uh, who gives a shit about left guard stats, but there he is, uh, Next one is going to be the tight end, which we did get, then the center, and then 99 overall, Richard, Richard Perryman. Uh, we are going to do another pack. Uh, we will be doing another pack right now. Okay, you want to end the auction? I'll, you end it. Uh, but yeah. We did pull a good card. I should probably sell it right now before it drops in price. Like, bitch. Uh, I probably won't do a video on any of them, but I already opened 30 packs of fan appreciation packs. Like, 15 on this account, 15 on another account, and then I think two more on another account, and I'm going to open more of them today. Hoping to pull some of the new Spotlight players, but I probably won't do a video on them. Just, I'll do them. Uh, also, I have some lit gameplays coming up. I have uh, Thursday. I have a Draft Champions gameplay with a YouTuber, uh, D Gust again. Uh, and then Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, one of those days. I don't know what day it's going to go up. I have a Shazier, Des Bryant gameplay. Des Bryant doesn't really do that much, mostly Shazier. But yep, that's what it is. So that's going to be lit. Um, yeah, and uh, guys, the support on the channel has been insane. Through July 2nd, through July, halfway through July 2nd, through halfway through July 4th, I gained like 25 subs. 
which to some people, 25 subs in that much amount of time doesn't seem like a whole lot of shit, but to me, that's absolutely amazing. Oh, that's a good price for a guy, uh, which is just amazing. Also, I did probably lose some coins over this promo, mostly because of fan appreciation packs and other random shit, mostly because I didn't sell Des Bryant right away. And I spent some coins to get him early, and he didn't sell, so then I decided I was just going to do a video, I mean a giveaway. Um, then I did Shay Zero, I did actually, I've done three of them so far. And I might do another one, depending, I don't know. With some of the elite spotlight players, you know, I could probably walk up enough to do another one, I don't know though. I don't know. Okay, all these auctions are expiring, it's just pissing me off. Um, but yeah, hopefully we do get somebody good in this pack. Ooh, snipe. But yeah, actually, these packs right now, doing these packs is good because you can do probably for 60k an elite. And that's the funny thing. People don't think through that. But you can do an easily an elite player set for 60k. Now, if so, they put out a pack that was an elite spotlight player for 60k, people would go ham on them, and the spotlight elites would plummet down to, like, nothing. But right now, you can do that. You just have to buy 20 gold. Um, newest. Let's see how many we did get buying all those. Ooh, wow. We got a lot. Quite a bit. Uh, I think I'm just going to, like, click on one. Well, we only need seven more. Oh, that was not the smart one to click on. Because he just came out. So let's click on one that has been out. But yeah, 99 overall pro size. Uh, not not a bad overall card. Wow, you, you are just being a bitch right now. I just want to buy seven cards. And you just don't want to let me. But yeah, also, I, I did mention this earlier in the video, I think. But I think I'm going to do an all spotlight squad. Which is just going to be absolutely fire. Uh, but that's going to have to come after the defensive ones come out. And it'll probably cost like a million coins. I might not do the older 99 overall ones. Just because the masters are going to be like worth probably like 500k again. So screw getting those. But yeah. Uh, okay, Dante Moncrief. Let's see what kind of gems you hold. Okay, I should have enough now. Mm. Yep, let's go. Actually, I should put the tight end up. Just put the tight end up just so we can sell them before too many people put them up. Ooh, 200k is the cheapest? Damn. I'm going to put mine up for 175, I think. What's his gun blocking? Ooh, 90 gun. I knew he would have good gun blocking. Hopefully we can get the 99 period, man. Because we could probably sell that one for like 900k. Maybe. Depending if we can get somebody to buy him stupidly. So, hopefully we can pull him. Not sure. You know. Um. Uh, 75. 175 seems like a good price. Seems like we're well, undercutting by 25k. That should be enough for somebody to decide to buy him. Uh, but yeah, one thing that those doing all, a lot of those, uh, fan appreciation packs is, I'm probably going to be able to complete some of the campaign players. I probably won't do the campaign even, do all those objectives, but I'll have them. They'll be free players, so, you know, I mean, they won't be free, but I'll probably do them and try to, I'll probably try to grind the objectives, maybe get the developer out, submit ticket, and maybe just give it away. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know if I should do that. Um, but yeah, okay. Let's do one more of these, and then after this pack, we will be done with the video. Just open up right away. I'm gonna just gonna cover them so I can't see the overall. And oh, 94 overall, Cody Kessler. Not good, but whatever. Anyways, guys, peace out. Hope you have a great day. Hopefully, you pulling some good shit. Peace.